had it with that goddamn job. What? That's it. I quit. Oh, please, Roy, not this conversation again. What are you doing home anyway? What happened? I had an accident today. I smashed up the car. What? I, I can't write all night and, 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 then, and then drive in the daytime. You know, I fell asleep at the wheel. Oh, God. What, are you okay? Did, did anyone get hurt? Look, I need time to work on my book. When are you going to finish that book anyway? I mean, how many times can you write and tear up and rewrite these chapters? It's like you're scared to finish. Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm, I'm gun shy. I can't handle it if it's confirmed yet again that all those nice things predicted about me were wrong, that I was a flash in the pan. Well, stalling is not the answer. Yeah, Jesus Christ. You know, all my friends have families, and what are we doing here? I mean, one way or the other, I want to move on with our lives. Roy's attention was caught by a lovely apparition moving into the flat across the way. He and Sally fought so much now, it was hard to imagine that they fell so much in love when they first met. Yeah, I'm fine, but you came straight out in front of me. It looks so painful. Oh, it's killing me. Swollen there. Yeah. You know, if you can move it, it's not broken. My guess is that you strained the metatarsal. Are you a doctor? Unlicensed. May I? Her foot's okay. Oh, yeah, it's better than okay. It's very pretty. So much depends on a red wheelbarrow. Glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens and Sally's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, of course. You know, the day I graduated from medical school was the day that I knew that I would never practice medicine. There's no question in my mind that I was going to write and that I was going to make it as a writer. I mean, you know how you feel those things? And Roy's first book did make it. At least it showed real promise. But that was then. And as the years passed, Sally put her dreams on hold and went to work. Now, the hours are 24-7. The work involves everything from, I don't know, filing papers to keeping clients happy and painters pampered to getting my lunches. So, what are your ambitions? Well, I've got a degree in art and a background in art history. And I've worked for the museum and some photographers. How did you hear about this job? My friend, Jane Brooks, who works at the Geller Gallery, she told me you were looking for someone. And when she said it was the Clemente Gallery, 